Hello everybody, it's Pavo and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. So I'm starting off this episode here in the aquarium and you may remember yesterday that I said I wanted to build a little wall mural on the sides of the tank. I was going to get that done and do a little speed build of it but I thought that I'd show you it all on camera. So yes, in this chest I have all this hardened clay and I was looking up other colours aren't really that vibrant to how I want them and then down here there's actually some things called woolen clay which I think would be uh, a better alternative to use so I think we're going to go ahead and make some of these the only thing is to make them you need the same color clay as you need the wool but they're part of the chisel mod so I can sort of do something a bit cheaty where if I get an entire stack of one colour I'll be able to chisel it into the other colours so I don't have to obtain those dyes so I think I'm gonna do that but yeah as I said it's a bit cheaty so I'm not really uh, happy doing it but it's a way that we don't have to go and scour the world for various dyes that I have no idea where to even find but yes I'm just gonna quickly head back to my house and we finally have a use for all the cotton that's in the chest that the Mimijis have been harvesting. So we're going to be using some of that. And oh my gosh, we've still got so much of it. And I'll show you that once we get down to my basement. Uh, just having a quick nibble of some soup. Nibble of soup? Do you nibble soup? I don't think you do. I think you like drink soup. But even that doesn't sound right. Um, and I'll just quickly come out the front here because... The Mimijis are really starting to annoy me because I took all the seeds off them and all the wheat and I come out here this morning and everything has been like replanted and I don't know which one of the Mimijis had the seeds. I think it's probably one of the blossoms because we have like four blossoms. Yeah, what are you doing with these seeds? Honestly, Mimijis, I'm, I, might, I might have to get you to stop. Oh, but I did find out that... Uh, to plant the, uh, let's see if I can find them, yeah, oops, what am I stuck on? To plant these spice leaves, you just turn them into seeds, and I swear I tried to do that once and it didn't work, uh, but I planted a few of these, and I'm going to plant these too, and hopefully the Mimiji should harvest these up, and we'll get some in the kitchen, ready to use to make some awesome foods in the future. But yeah, I really need to clear out all this wheat, because I don't need any wheat, I have too much of it, I've got like... Uh, so many stacks of hay bales and they all turn into nine wheat each so I don't need any more I need to tell them to stop but yeah so the easiest color of this woolen clay to make I think is probably going to be the white one because we have bones and the cotton turns into normal white dye so we're going to go ahead and do that look at all this cotton it's crazy so I'm going to take Let's see, I was going to take 16, but 16 won't fit in my inventory, so I'm going to take 8, uh, yeah that's 8, and we're just going to turn these into string, actually wait, uh, no my numbers are all wrong, um, oh I, I think I took 9 anyway, oh I don't know, I don't know what's happening, yeah my numbers were wrong. Um, but we'll put these back so we've got so four string make one wool block so I need I'm just gonna keep doing this until I've got uh, enough string to make like five or no I'll make three stacks because um, I can easily make some more in the future and yeah I'll get some more as well like so, and the other day I asked for some name suggestions of what I should call my zoo, and I looked through them, and the I, it's very difficult to choose a, a name that I want to like stick on my park forever. So I was thinking of some other ideas, and because yeah, I don't want my name in it at all. I don't want the the word Pavo to be in it at all. And quite a few of you suggested names which were like variants of that. Um, which, yeah, I don't really want. Uh, 
but I was doing like a bit of research and the um, family of that parrots are in is called Cetacidae. I swear I pronounced that right. So maybe I was thinking of, well I was thinking of maybe using that in a name, though it's incredibly hard to spell and also pronounce. Uh, but something to do with, like that, like related to birds in the name, because yeah, I love birds. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to think of something, so still leave your suggestions and ideas in the comments, because I'll look through them all. It's just I haven't found one that really like sticks out yet. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to make a few more of these. Maybe another stack, yeah. Um, yeah. One, two three and we are getting through this cotton very quickly but that's good because I have so much of it uh, I didn't need all of that did I okay I think I have enough to one two three four yeah I have enough I have too much string in fact okay I'm gonna put some of this cotton away and I will put some of this string away and now I need to get the bone meal. Um, I already have some bone meal, but I'm going to grab some bones. And if I remember correctly, the way to um, dye this clay is to put it in like a box around the bone meal. Oh my gosh, do I not have enough to make as much as I want? Um, this is probably not the best way of doing it whatsoever. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, there we are. Okay. And to make this wool and clay, I think we just do this. Yes, we do. And that gives us, oh my gosh, so much. I don't even think we need that many. I think that is enough. I'm going to put this clay away. I probably shouldn't have dyed it all. That was probably a bad move. Um... But no, that's fine, because I know that when I, whenever I build, I always seem to need more than I've got. But I think this is a bit too much. So yeah, this is wool and clay. I'm going to put this one back. I'm going to put this bone meal in here. Oh, it's not all going to fit. No, that's not the right one I put in anyway. It's in this one, in dyes. And there. And I'm just going to pop Katrina out for a second. I really need to make like Katrina some clothes, like a custom skin, like everyone else on the server has done, but I haven't got around to doing that yet, and I think we, we, we will go and pop to that little sugarcane farm that is by the river. Let's see how much you got on you. On, yeah. So are you going to follow me this time, or are you going to wander into the pond? I'm not sure. Uh, but it's not too far away. It's just out here. Uh, I'm not going to let you out in the in the front garden again, Katrina, because I don't trust you with the water. I think you're like part water spirit or something. But are you going to follow me? Because it doesn't look like you are. It looks like you're doing that weird glitchy thing again. I don't trust you, Katrina. I'm going to put you back. Oh, well, let me pick you up now. Hmm... I think she's like glitched in a chair again because I can't pick her up but yeah we'll head to the sugarcane farm that's down here uh, I think I'm going the right way it has been a while since I've been down here and I, I'm sure I planted it along the river yes I can see it it does look cool I think I probably like should have built my house more up this way really because it took forever to flatten out all the land to build my house. Um, but that was so long ago. That was ages ago. I mean, we're on episode 76 now. And I haven't even been recording like every day. So there's been quite a bit of gaps. Quite a few gaps. Um, and I don't like you. You. I don't know what you are. I think you're like a boar or something. But they always seem to want to eat me. Well, not eat me, but they're just like ramming me. Um, but they're nearly there. But look how much sugar cane we got. And I'm going to plant some more as well, if I can. 
Um, just gonna pick all this up. I think that's everything. But I'm just gonna continue this on up here. It's gonna let me plant it. Um, quite a way, quite a way around. And what are these that I'm breaking? I think they're they're not ground gardens. I think they're called gourd gardens. I might be wrong. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Um, I think I'm gonna stop. Yeah, here because I can't place it on the gravel. So I'm gonna head back. Oh, hello, Mr. Pig. I'm Mr. Sheep. I didn't realize there was still wildlife around here. There's a horse. What? I, I'm I'm grabbing you. We have a horse. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh. All the horses. Um, have I really like never been down here to see these horses? Oh my gosh, what? Okay, I'm gonna gonna leave you here, but I now know where to come if I need horses. Look, there's a cow as well. So much wildlife. I didn't realize. I need to like bring some of you closer. Uh, maybe you sheep. Yeah, I'll grab some of these sheep, or maybe the cow, and I'll move them closer to my house. And we still haven't done anything with this mural. Oh my gosh, I really need to like get a move on. We'll grab you, Mrs. Cow. Grab you, sheep, and you. Uh, have I got another safari net that I can use to grab that cow? And then we can like breed some cows. We really need a barn. That's what we need to do. We need a barn nearby. That's something that I'm gonna put on my to-do list once I finish recording this episode. I think that's the what we'll do once we've finished the aquarium. Uh, we'll build a little barn and we'll try and get the disco sheep revived as well. Although I'm not quite sure where I'd put a barn because I don't know how elaborate I'd make it. Probably pretty elaborate knowing me. And I have built a barn before using the carboners blocks. I think, yeah, the, the video is on my channel. It was the the Grand Pig Orchestra and it was like based on a little farm and I built a little barn for it and I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I could like put the barn at this side of the house. I think that would look cool. Um, maybe sort of near the back, maybe where this pond is. We can have like a little farmyard area. We could even like move the wheat fields out here or we could build like a farm sort of not right outside a house but nearby so that we can see it from from the garden maybe over there I'm not sure because it does look quite like dull at the front of my house there's not really much here we've like got a weird brush land over there with all these bushes and then we just got like a giant expanse of plains with no animals in at all and we're just like covered in these uh, peafowl I'm gonna pop these cows in the f in this I was gonna call it the farm yeah this part is the farm isn't it the garden so I'll pop you in there hopefully the Mimujis will look after you I think they've got shears so I think they might come and shear your wool I'm not sure though I don't know uh, but yes let's head over to the aquarium and actually get something done today and I need to eat some food and I don't actually need my Spanish moss up there anymore so I think we're gonna clean that out uh, but yeah we'll quickly head back to the aquarium because I do want to make some progress Ah, oh, this sign as well. I need to make a new one of those. <laughs> yeah, so as Seri says, there's always so much to do in the zoo. I've still got the like the info center to get done. I also have some of the trades to sort out for the NPCs because um, the trades I've got for some of them, trading experience points for some of the um, items that you give them, are not as good. I don't think, yeah. And Evan doesn't have a, a trade, and I don't think Michael up there has a trade. Have I spelt your name right? Yes, I have. So I need to sort those out. because Yeah, and some of the trades are very unbalanced. So too many zookeeper points, and too, or too little zookeeper points. But yeah, so yeah, we're here, and I'm going to grab this wall, and I'm going to show you what you can do with this. I think we're going to work on this side wall here. Um, how many wide is it? So that's four. So I'm going to actually have to dig that wall away. Uh, I 
Do I have to do the same over here as well? Yes, I will. Okay, that's going to be a bit annoying. Um, so I think I'm going to work on this back wall because I can do this off camera. But you can chisel this wall, hopefully, if I am right, yes you can, into the different colours. So I'm going to chisel this stack into light blue. I'm going to chisel this one into yellow and this one into green. This screen here. And I'm going to put that down there. And I'm going to, oh, why is that not working? And I'm going to do like a little design. Hopefully it looks okay. And I hope water can go against these. Because if not, then this is going to be a waste of time and also resources. But we should, should be okay. And I'm going to make it like sort of double level at certain points and here as well. And I'm going to use this to make like little seaweed. Um, let's get my axe, my pickaxe rather. What do I use to break this? Because it's wool and clay. So maybe I have to use shears? I'm not sure. Um, but if I do things like this, all well, against the back, then I think it'll look okay. Um, yeah, we've still got that woolen, this woolen thing. I'm thinking of maybe replacing it with carbonous blocks, though I'm not sure whether the carbonous blocks work with water, because sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So they're a bit picky, and I prefer not to use them against water. But I don't think I have much of an option here. Um, and if I do this, I think it means I can put glowstone in the carbonous blocks as well, to l um, lighten it up a bit, illuminate what's that word? Illum yeah, illuminate it. Um, what am I doing? There we are. And put that back. And put that there. And then we're almost done here. Uh, like so. And yeah, I think that that's cool. That's, a, that's what I wanted, a nice little mural. And I can fill this in with the blue. And when it's filled with water, hopefully you'll be able to see it. But I think it's like a nice little addition and it's gonna oops it's gonna look like this all the way around. I swear there's a better um there's yeah, probably a better tool to break that. I'm actually gonna see if I have some shears on me and whether it breaks better with shears. Let's see. Are you gonna break better? No. Hmm, odd. I don't know what axe you use to break that then. Maybe a No. What did I just say? I don't know what tool you use to break that. It's not an axe. I guess it is a pickaxe. Unless it's my fist. What about my fist? That breaks it just as fast. Okay, I'm not sure. Probably is a tool that I'm not aware of that breaks that a lot quicker. Uh, but yeah, this is this is coming along. I like it. It actually looks a bit better than I thought. Especially using this woolen clay and not the stained clay. Um, yeah, like that. I think maybe just going to change this block to green give it a bit of variance and this one and the one above it to a green as well I'm just being very picky here as usual because nobody's, nobody's really going to see that I don't think anyone's really going to notice it but it just adds that tiny level of detail I just love adding around my zoo and up here as well Oh, we've run out of that blue. We, okay, so I'm definitely going to need a few more uh, of the the blocks. So I don't think I did waste those resources. I should have really bought them with me, shouldn't I? Um, but I didn't, because I didn't think I'd be needing them all. Uh, let's just change this one. No, this one. To that. And, oops. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that marble that's above there, but I'm just going to place that one and... Oh, why is it not placing? And see what it looks like from outside the tank. I think it looks okay, yeah. I mean, what does it look like from out here? It does look cool. I hope you all agree. I do like it. And yeah, so I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you do like that wall back there and I'm just gonna carry it on on the side bits the bit behind me actually I'll just point it out I'm gonna do it on this wall as well and also that wall there and then I will fill it up with water and tomorrow we'll be planting the 
coral and the kelp. I think we might go on another adventure like we did a couple of days ago when we went and got that coral. And maybe take a silk touch, well not a silk touch pick, maybe silk touch shears if we can get some of those and see if we can pick up the coral. Else if not we might have to go looking for a wandering biologist somewhere that will help us these visual glitches oh my gosh that will help us gather um the luminous coral so yes thank you all for watching as always the code is on screen and i hope you're all having a wonderful 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 day goodbye